By the end of this video, you're gonna learn how you can turn the audio of your video into this when originally was like this. Hi, how are you? For those of you who missed me, who haven't seen my face for a long time, I'm back and I want to say to all of you that I'm okay. Usually you were only with my voice on the last videos. Now for those of you who are watching me for your first time, welcome, I'm Emilio and I post videos here on tutorials, filmmaking tips, gear reviews and so much more. So if you're into this kind of stuff, I'm not gonna tell you what to do, you know what to do. So in this video we're gonna see a plugin that removes the wind from your videos. When you have a microphone and it's a weather or you're outside and you have a lot of wind, we know that the wind is something that is gonna be very distractful on our videos. And uh, this plugin is from Crumble Pop and you can find it from FX Factory. And by the way, thanks to FX Factory for supporting this channel. So let's go now into Final Cut Pro, but keep in mind that this plugin works with all the video editing programs and see it in action. We are in the Final Cut Pro interface and let's see how we can work with the Crumble Pop Wind Remover AI plugin. Here is a footage where we have a lavalier mic without any pop filter on it, so as you can understand on a windy day it's gonna be a madness. Let's see how we can correct this if we can and how better we can do it. This is the audio from a lavalier mic without the pop filter on. As you can see, this is a totally disaster. So we go into the effects where we have installed the wind remover. We're gonna drag this and place it into our clip. And then we go into the inspector panel. We click here and a new window pops up that has all the settings. So by simply selecting on and then adjust the strength, we can have a difference in the wind that we have in our audio. And you can check it right here. This is the audio with the plugin without the pop filter on. This is the audio from a lavalier mic without the pop filter on. This is the audio with the plugin without the pop filter on. Of course, you can adjust the equalizer of the sound if you see that you have any muddiness or any, you know, a lot of bass and uh, mid tones in your. Uh, sound so the the voice is not uh, as uh, crispy as usually can be and also the wind remover plugin gives you the option to have in low mid and high frequencies how much you want the strength of the plugin to be to remove the wind let's see one more example where we have a pop filter in top of lavalier mic pop filters usually do a very good job in removing wind but if you have windy days you're not gonna remove them completely. So again, we drag the Crumble Pop Wind Remover AI. This is how it sounds before. This is the audio from a lavalier mic with the wind remover, the pop filter on. And again, we go into the inspector panel. The new pop-up window appears. We click on on and we can select how much strength. Now, because we have a pop-up filter, we can keep it on 50%. This is the audio with the pop and the wind remover plugin. This is the audio from a lavalier mic with the wind remover, the pop filter on. This is the audio with the pop and the wind remover plugin. A very useful and good plugin from Crumble Pop and FX Factory to add to your collection when it comes to audio. I hope you found this video helpful and you learned something new today. If you want to get the plugin, you will find links in the description of this video down below. If you have anything to say or to ask, I'm waiting you in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Emilio, I'm back and I will see you in the next video.